I just wanted to update some pieces of news that I think are important to discuss here and for you also to uh, take a look at these articles and I will see I'm just gonna move this just a little bit the camera is kind of off it's a little bit better anyway um, there's one article that talks about uh, San Francisco California a uh, wheelchair user that had to sue an owner uh, of a hamburger joint because he wouldn't put in a ramp, which is a violation. <laughs> All right, sound would be good here. <laughs> I wanted to do a little bit of uh, news you can use because we haven't done it in a while. And there are some pieces of news that are um, important to reflect about important to talk about and for you all to put in your opinions. Uh, in San Francisco, they had a uh, burger joint and unfortunately a wheelchair user, you know, had requested a ramp and the owner just said it was too expensive. So he went ahead and sued and the joint closed. Now the articles, articles number one, uh, kind of put the blame square on the wheelchair user and that is so wrong <laughs> that is so wrong but in the second article they pointed out that you know the owner was already in debt from covid and from loans and from other things and just had to close so i i think that this this little joint this little restaurant was already in financial trouble and they didn't even want to put in their goodwill to to add a ramp on the side there so you know, it's if you are a restaurant and owners of Goodwill, that Goodwill comes back to you. And, you know, it's like, I don't know, <laughs> it's just a mess. But anyway, people are upset about it and we'll see. We'll see what the community does, but it's very wrong to place the blame solely on, on the wheelchair user. He just wanted a hamburger and wanted to be able to go into the restaurant. So, you know, <laughs> we have to think about this and, and just say to the owner, you know, it would have costed you a whole lot less to put in the ramp than to pay $75,000 fine for not having a ramp. So it, it was just ridiculous. I think the tone of the first article. So. You know, I will put in the link so you can decide on your own uh, how you felt that article was written. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> don't fear if a joint closes, you know, because that means they're already in trouble. And, you know, you, you have to have some kind of, it's a give and take. And especially in a community, if they appreciated the community so much, then they would have added a ramp, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But, you know, they did state in the second article, you know, all the debts that they had and with what organization. So, so this had really nothing to do with the wheelchair user. It was just another added issue because they were just playing footsie with, with other organizations. So, um, good for you for the wheelchair user, um, for doing that. Uh, you know, it's, it's not that expensive folks to put in a ramp. It really isn't. And if you look around for um, organizations that I've posted here, you know, the different states there are, um, there is help out there if you need to install a ramp for your business. So give me a break. Um, so yeah, there's a couple articles on the uh, burger joint. And then <laughs> the basketball team they was going from Arizona to uh, Virginia. They were gonna play in a national game. And I have no idea why Southwest decided to take off all the wheels of the wheelchairs. <laughs> what? I've never heard of that before. So anyway, uh, Southwest said, that, you know, they would look into the situation and make it better for the next time. I'm like, what next time? We've been hammering you with this problem for years. And you said the next time and the next, how many next times are there Southwest? Come on, you know, and especially for this team, 
they're going to play a national championship. National. And already the national organization have been coordinating with the airlines and they do this. They take off all the wheels with all the wheelchairs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Somebody's lacking some brains there. Someone. <laughs> and it's not us. Um, Aurora, I think this is down in Indiana and not around here in my state, but they are, you know, getting wheelchairs for wheelchair users to, uh, the tractor type all-terrain wheelchairs so that, um, wheelchair users can go around in the parks in the city and enjoy some, some time out in, in nature. So I want to thank them for, um, Aurora and, uh, the organizations that put this together. They have two so far, you know, these chairs are expensive. So um, hopefully they'll get some more in other cities, other counties will follow suit uh, for us to be able to get out in local parks and enjoy some, some fun in the sun. Iowa, thank you legislatures from Iowa, uh, cause they're going to extend cross work, crosswalk protection to cyclists, wheelchair users, and others who are on wheels. So thank you so much. Um, you know, a lot of times we have potholes and we have cracks and we have pieces of sidewalk that are just gone. So, you know, it's it's really important to, to spruce up those sidewalks, especially as the summer comes along. So I really wanna thank Iowa for doing that and hopefully other states will follow suit and help us with these crappy sidewalks, especially in the state of Wisconsin. We have lacking sidewalks and we have sidewalks that are just, I don't think you can call them sidewalks. So um, hopefully we'll get some protection as well to, to get these sidewalks fixed and appropriately built for uh, people with disabilities. For the Iowa article, I want to make a correction. It wasn't sidewalks, it was crosswalks, which are a little bit more important too, uh, because, uh, you know, wheelchair users and people who are blind, a lot of times we lose our lives trying to cross the street. So um, I found a small, uh, because I can't get into the news piece that was um, presented. So. It's Iowa legislatures extend crosswalk protections to cyclists, wheelchair users, and others on wheels. So that can mean a lot. So uh, a bill requiring drivers to yield the right of way to cyclists, wheelchair users, uh, and other crosswalk users who aren't on foot is heading to the desk of Governor Kim Reynolds uh, after the Iowa Senate approved it unanimously on Wednesday. So uh, that's really important, I think, for any state to approve that and to work on that to make sure that, you know, special paintings and other things that really indicate to the drivers and to warn the drivers that, you know, they have to yield to people who are using some form of wheels um, because there's just too many accidents and too many uh, situations in which people on wheels, uh, you know, are losing their lives. So let's uh, thank Iowa. You know, anytime they pass a legislature, a, a legislation, or you know, protections, or put in a ramp, or you know, any of these accessibility aids for us, it's it's always important to say thank you. Always important to say thank you. Uh, because otherwise things go to the four winds. So, um, so just remember that. Uh, you know, there's there's another article, of wheelchair users demanding better transport. And of course, you know, that, that goes across all states and all counties, you know, better transportation uh, for us to get around. They're not gonna let us drive, then at least have good transportation. Ooh, <laughs> listen to this one. Uber and Lyft mislead with talk of serving people with disabilities. <laughs> We've already sued them for, you know, for falling on their face 
and not um, complying with the ADA. So, uh, you know, they talk about it. It's a lot of talk, a lot of blab. And Uber and Lyft needs to get their act together and start serving and get vans, especially for those who um, have wheelchairs and allow, you know, people with service dogs to get in their taxis and whatever cars are using uh, because it's time. Uh, so that's the news uh, that you can use and think about a little bit uh, because it is just ridiculous to blame a wheelchair user for the closure of a burger joint. Um, and I just want to make a call for all restaurants out there. You know, we are consumers. I've said this many times, we are consumers. And um, you're going to get a few more bucks, uh, you know, allowing us in, allowing us to share with the community. Uh, you know, even just put out the question, where, where do I get funding to, to put in a ramp? I want to put in a ramp. I want to comply. Um, and I want to invite those with, with disabilities in my joint, in my restaurant. You know, this is important, folks. Um, it's, it's not just what we want or because we want a burger. No, it's, it's because we are part of the community and we don't want to be rejected um, or, you know, shunned or speaking down to. You know, because you bothered me with a lawsuit, I'm going to close. See how you feel. <laughs> What's that about? You know, we, we want to use your services. We want to enjoy some time with family and friends in your place. And putting in a ramp, you know, if you can maneuver around and ask around, who can help you with the ramp? I'm sure a lot of people would have come forward. If people in the community love the joint so much, they would have come together and they would have made a ramp. Um, don't you think? Uh, I, you know, I think that, you know, there are some cultures who don't understand disabilities and need some education, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, we can send them letters and all that kind of stuff and, and for them to be able to comply and to be able to assist us to come, be able to come and share a good time in their place. So we'll see what happens. We, we still there's a lot of education that needs to happen, and um, together we need to do this. Together we need to do this, and uh, form a little group in your community. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's fun to do that and good support. And then you can set up those projects in which let's target these businesses and send them letters, you know, or these, these group of, of businesses we really need. So let's, let's send them a letter uh, and see, you know, if we can assist them in getting, getting the joint and the business accessible for us. Uh, because we are part of the community and because we need it. We need each other, you know, not only wheelchair user to wheelchair user, but the businesses also need us and we need them. So, and they need to comply with the ADA, <laughs> you know? So it's really important to, to put that out there. Um, and to blame, to blame us for their woes. No, not worth it, folks. Um, <laughs> Southwest, oh my goodness. I can't believe it. You know, all the talk and all the announcements and in the media and all the announcements from uh, Pete Buttigieg about transportation and air travel and this happens and you guys do this no <laughs> there can't be a next time you know for all airlines there can't be a next time you all have to have the necessary information 
and how to transport wheelchairs. You know, like today, learn it today. So, so I don't know, I don't know. But that's why I do these videos, to put this out there and um, say, come on, you know. Um, you know, it's not like the ADA was born yesterday. It's not like we were born yesterday. And it's not like the airlines were born yesterday. So stop taking our wheelchairs apart when you don't have permission. Um, and there was no need to take off all those wheels. I, I don't get it. Um, but <laughs> those are the things we need to continue to push. And I think Southwest deserves a big fat letter um, you know, to, to say, what on earth was that all about? Um, who had that idea? And that's the problem. Who had that idea? Who thought that that was going to work? Who thought that was necessary? Who? You know, so, <laughs> good grief. But anyway, it's important to share these videos and talk about them and to put out letters to your legislatures and to, you know, stir up, stir up things a little bit so, so that we can get the services we need so that we're not to blame. Hmm. Feels like the 1800s all, all over again. They want to keep us locked up and in our home so we don't bother them. No, we're human beings and we deserve, you know, some time out there and get the services we need. So anyway, <laughs> that's my rant for today. I just wanted to, I'll put those links of these articles in the description so you can read them, form your own opinion, and uh, put them down, you know, write them. Uh, I think that uh, a channel like this is, is important to put out the news and to talk about it and um, to have a plan. Think of a plan. See how we can put some pressure out there for businesses to understand that the ADA does exist and we also exist. Hello, Southwest. Anyone home? Get your act together. Hello.